But let's get to meteorologist Brittany Beggs, who is tracking Elsa. Brittany. All right, so what we know is that Elsa is impacting now the Florida Keys. A 48 mile power wind gust has been reported at uh, the floor uh, at uh, the key, uh, Tampa. Tampa and Florida Keys International Airport. Let me show you where there's a tropical storm watch warning and there's now a hurricane watch for portions of Florida. It does include Tampa. So with Elsa, even though it's going to stay a tropical storm, it's actually going to be kind of increasing in strength over the next few hours and it's going to stay below category one hurricane status, but we're looking at maybe some winds getting up to 70 miles per hour by the time this does reach Tampa. So there's there's going to be some strengthening, um, so let me show you. It's moving northwest at now about 10 miles an hour, so it's slower moving than what it was yesterday. It's about 60 miles now west of the Florida Keys, and it's tracking north northwestward and now impacting Cape Corral and even Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, Saint, uh, Port St. Lucie. They have already had some measurable rainfall from this guy, so. Here's the track from Elsa book in northwestward. It's going to kind of veer and track eastward as we move into tomorrow morning. Here's the new track from the Hurricane Center. It shows by about oh, 08 a.m. 10 a.m. or so still is a tropical storm, but right now it has max sustained winds of 60. By tonight, those max sustained winds could reach 65, and then they're up to 70 mile power sustained winds before it does potentially here make landfall as a none, not a hurricane, but that as a tropical storm north of Tampa and south of Gainesville. Could still be a tropical storm as it works its way into southeastern Georgia, up near Charleston and Myrtle Beach. That's when it becomes a remnant low. But it's probably going to be tracking pretty slow, so that means there's going to be still some decent rainfall totals with this, maybe about two to four inches of rain. Now notice the track from the Hurricane Center. It still shows us as a tropical storm kind of re-strengthening off the coast of Richmond there. That's by this weekend. Usually this time of year, it takes things quite a bit of time for these waters that are northward to heat up. It's usually August, even September. So there's probably going to be some significant weakening here, and typically these waters are too cool for anything to strengthen. So we will see as we move through this weekend. How does this impact us here locally? Well, we're going to get some rainfall and that begins tonight and tomorrow morning. Not going to be a big deal for us, uh, at least tonight and early tomorrow. So the rapid refresh is showing this. Our, our North American and our GFS are showing this too. This is six o'clock tonight. We may have a few showers will be dodging out there for us this evening. It would be nice to get this because after this heat, our gardens could certainly use some water. You'll notice it's not a big deal. Tomorrow morning, really light stuff yet again. This isn't going to be a big deal. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, we get some light stuff, pretty isolated. Again, not a big deal. Tomorrow evening, yeah, we may have a thunderstorm or two. Dew points are going to be higher. That means that there's going to be more moisture in the air to work with tomorrow evening. 4 p.m., maybe a thunderstorm across McMinn and Monroe counties. And then there's tomorrow night, 10 p.m. So our rain chances are going to increase as we move through Wednesday night. Thursday and into Friday. So total here, thinking about half an inch of rainfall. Our Vipercast is going a little bit more meek with our rainfall totals. Vipercast is showing up to half an inch for areas like Walker County and Chattooga County. I think those areas, our North American is actually going more bullish. I think we'll put some higher totals, maybe about an inch to two inches across our far southern communities and Chattanooga getting close to about half an inch. We'll certainly keep an eye on this. It's not a big deal for our Tennessee communities. It's really not a big deal for our Georgia or Alabama communities, but we at least are going to get some rain from this and the temperatures are going to take a little dip too come Thursday and Friday.